Previously on Crazy Ken's Tech Misadventures. Oh, thank goodness, Draga. Okay, I need an SSD. Stat. Damn it, I thought I blocked this number. Three days later. Come on, I know you're there. Hello? Hey, you're supposed to be helping me. I know you can hear me. So yes, the drive is now in here. Greetings, Internet. Crazy Ken is back. Yes, and today I am doing that follow-up with this SSD here because I did that collaboration with Duraga One, upgrading this from a 256 to a 512 gigabyte drive, and yes, a lot of you lovely people pointed out that I actually reinstalled the drive wrong. Hey, I was under a lot of pressure. Give me a break, asshats. So anyway, lovely fans, you're now going to watch every single step to fixing this, and you're going to sit, and you're really going to enjoy it. No, don't just play this video in the background and go to some other tab and do something. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. This is, this is it. This is what you get for correcting me. You're now going to watch every second of me fixing this thing right here, right now. So let's do it. All right. First, we're going to take off the shock absorber. This is the fun part. And there we go. One... Lassi rugged without the ruggedness. We'll just throw that over there. And now we're going to get inside. So, for those who did not see the first part, I actually recommend you see what happened earlier. Continuing. So, just as a reminder, when I reinstalled this drive, I didn't actually screw it into the case. So, if the drive fell, the drive would just shock inside itself. It wouldn't actually absorb any shock. Greatly increasing the probability of it breaking. <laughs> Not very smart. So, we're going to fix that. I should probably get a standard screwdriver for, for this part. So, there we go. We now have the board. Just going to remove that. And as you can see, it is a lovely SanDisk 512 gigabyte solid state drive, say at a three, two and a half inch. Beautiful. Here's the problem. It's screwed into the board. Not the case. L l let's say this fell. It would just ka-chunk, shake, and shock inside itself. Um, and I clearly did not notice that when doing the last tech video log when I was working with this. So thank you guys for pointing that out. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So we're gonna fix that right now. Yep, just keep watching, just keep watching. Don't turn away, don't flip tabs. Uh-uh, you're gonna watch me fix this whole thing. I bet you're regretting correcting me right about now, aren't ya? This video is made possible in part by Phillips screwdrivers. Quite literally made possible. Without them, we couldn't really unscrew these. Speaking of screwing things, no, that wasn't dirty. <laughs> that computer desk, oh man, I wish I had a power drill for that. <laughs> that was fun. If you haven't checked that out, I highly recommend you do. Mmm, things get cut. Da 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 Flawless. So for those who are wondering, it is an X400 solid state drive. This thing is really fast and I've had no problems with it so far. So I highly recommend you get one of these if you want to upgrade any of your SSDs that have a 2.5 inch form factor. Very nice purchase. All right, so now we're going to reinsert the drive and the board. And then we will properly screw everything in. Yeah, I really screwed up earlier. Ha ha ha, puns all around. But now I am unscrewing up, quite literally. You know, the word literally is overused so much. Most people mean to say virtually when they say literally. I'm sure uh, some dictionary has, you know, adopted the new version that everyone, including millennials, use. But hey, not to diss millennials. Ha <laughs> ha. You're talking to one right now. In fact, actually, no, you're not. You're just listening. If you were actually talking to me, that'd be a little worrisome because I am not an interactive image. This is a static video, which has no interactivity whatsoever. So, for example, if I asked you to think of a number and I knew what it was, that would just be pure coincidence. It wouldn't be actual interactivity. Or, or like, you know, a shape inside a shape. So, you know, think of a shape right now, and then think of a shape that goes outside that shape. So you're thinking of a shape inside of another shape. All right, you got the shapes in your head? 
Did you think of a triangle inside of a circle? <gasps> Lay, gasp, you did. Maybe this is an interactive video. YouTube 4D, it's here and it's now. Make sure everything is snug. One that's trying to escape. So now if I shake it, it won't jiggle or shock inside of itself. It's secure the way it should be. Aces, drinks all around. All right, so now just throw this sucker back on there. So that's nice and snug there. And now put it back in its little jaqueta. That is a Spinadian for jacket. I don't know what side is easier. Let's just jiggle it until something happens. And there we go. It is now back together and much more shockproof than before. So there we are, guys. It's all done. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I didn't. You're probably gonna write home because it was so exciting. You just have to tell someone. You just have to tell someone about this amazing, incredibly exciting follow-up episode. Yes! <laughs> In all seriousness though, thank you, thumbs up everywhere, to the people that pointed out that I did install this wrong. Because I would have hated to travel with this and end up breaking the drive. That seriously would have sucked and that would have been a waste of money. So just Lesson learned here. Just make sure you put your stuff back together right. <laughs> Take it from me. Because a simple step, like screwing in four screws in the wrong holes, could cost you hundreds of dollars. So thanks for following along, guys. Stick around for more Crazy Ken. Catch the crazy, pass it on, and I'll see you in the not-too-distant future.